Hey everybody, Genesis Jones here with Total G Shockers. And in this video, we'll be walking through the five steps on how to calibrate the magnetic declination on your G Shock GPR B1000 rangeman. Let's get started. So before I begin, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the previous video in this Digital Compass video series. We walk through the seven steps to how to set up the bi-directional calibration, which is very important to having accurate compass readings. So go ahead and check that video out right now. All right, so now let's walk through the five steps on how to set up the magnetic declination calibration on the G-Shot GPR B1000 rangeman so you can have more accurate compass readings. So you may be asking, why do I need to set up the magnetic declination calibration anyway? Like, what's the purpose of this? Well, the reason is because if you want your watch to indicate true north instead of magnetic north, you need to specify the current magnetic declination direction. And this is either east or west and the declination angle. Now, before we jump into setting up the magnetic declination calibration, which is also referred to as the true north readings, let's briefly go through why this is important. So as you know, there are actually two types of north, right? There's magnetic north and true north. Now, magnetic north is north that is indicated by the needle of a compass. And this is often what's denoted in our G-Shock watches as well. While true north is the direction of the North Pole. As you can see from the illustration, you see that true north and magnetic north are not the same. And just take note that the north indicated on most commercially available maps is normally true north not magnetic north. The magnetic declination angle value can be set in one degree units only. Now you want to use a value that is closest to the angle you want to set. So say if the angle is 14.7 degrees, then you would want to set it to 15 degrees. Now if the angle is, for example, 16 degrees 40 minutes, which is denoted as 16 degree dot 4 with an apostrophe after the point 4, then set the angle to 17 degrees. Take note that magnetic declination angles, whether east or west, and the angle degree values for specific locations can be found on mountain climbing maps, geographic maps, and other maps that include contour lines. So here are the steps to setting up the magnetic declination calibration. Step one, you want to press the top left button. Now this is denoted at letter A on the screen. Now this is going to display the digital compass mode setting screen. Step two, you want to rotate the rotary switch to move the pointer to magnetic declination and then press the rotary switch. Step three, you want to rotate the rotary switch to configure the magnetic declination direction and angle settings. Now, the setting range is from 90 degrees west to 90 degrees east. Now, say for example, you want to set it to west declination. What you would do is you would rotate the rotary switch all the way to 90 degrees west. Now, like in this image, you will see that the magnetic declination direction says W for west, right under the magnetic declination heading. Also, you'll see that the 90 degrees displayed on the watch is the magnetic declination angle. Now, the west declination on the watch means that magnetic north is west of true north. Now, the same can be said for the east declination. So go ahead and rotate the rotary switch to the opposite direction to 90 degrees east. And the east declination is east of true north. And for magnetic north, you just need to rotate the rotary switch in the opposite direction, but you wanna stop at zero degrees. Now at this point, the magnetic declination is off and the angle and direction until you reach true north depends on where you are in the world. 
So for example, if you're in the U.S., the angle of declination varies from about 20 degrees west in Maine to about 21 degrees east in Washington State. So this is how you calibrate the magnetic declination. Now to cancel the setting operation, just press the lower left button. Now this is denoted on the image at letter C and rotate the rotary switch to select whether or not you want to save the current settings. Now if you do, select yes and then the current settings will be saved. If you don't want to save it, click no, then the current settings won't be saved. Now if you press the lower left button, which is at C, again, this will enable the configuration of the magnetic declination direction and angle settings to appear on the watch. Once you are finished, just press the rotary switch. Step four, once you are finished setting up the magnetic declination angle and direction, press the rotary switch to exit the setting screen. Now this is going to bring you back to the digital compass mode setting screen. In step five, press the lower left button on the watch. Again, this is the one denoted at C to exit the setting screen. At this point, you're all set with calibrating the magnetic declination of your rangeman and you should be good to go. All right, everybody. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to take accurate compass readings on your watch. Now that your arrangement is set up with magnetic declination calibration and the bi-directional calibration. Now the bi-directional calibration was in the last video. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and make sure to hit that bell to get the notifications when new videos are released. That's all for today. And as always, continue to rock your G-Shock nonstop. Deuces.